Hey game makers! Title screens are important. They're the first thing the player usually sees when starting up a game. Now, there are tons of pretty much plug and play plugins that allow us to make our game's title screen look different and awesome, and those are totally great to use. But perhaps you'd like something different. More specific, or something you want to make on your own. Perhaps you'd like to show a cutscene before the game starts, or some dynamic intro, maybe some disclaimers, or do something completely different in your title screen. Today, we'll be looking at the Hime Pre-Title Events plugin, and some ways to use it to make really neat things. Let's go into the plugin and take a quick look at the parameters. It's pretty straightforward. Pre-Title Map ID simply refers to the map ID number you want the game to start on. Use as title is important. Setting this to true will essentially register the map entered as the game's title screen itself. This means using things like the return to title event command, game over, or resetting the game will all go to this map and skip the default title screen completely. Using this, we'll be able to create any sort of title screen you want through the power of events, with some very minor scripting knowledge required. Setting this to false would be used if you just wish to, say, have a cutscene play out first and then go to the default start screen. If using this, after the cutscene is finished, simply use the return to title event command to go back to the default title screen. But that's not as interesting, so for this example we'll be setting this to true and creating our own map-based title screen. So let's go to the map with the ID number we set. This will be our title screen. At this point, we're able to create any sort of title screen we want, whether it be simple and straightforward, like a parallax and some extra choice commands, or a monstrosity of epic show picture commands and animations and what have you. But for now, let's go over how to basically recreate the commands from the default title screen. For this example, let's create an auto-run event with a list of choices with show choices. Fun fact, if you put a blank transparent window with a different window position set before the choices, you'll have access to making the choices appear at the top or the bottom of the screen. Again, the point of this is to make your own title screen your way. So this is just a very, very generic example, and you are welcome to make yours however you wish. Now for some basic choices, let's go with Start Game, Continue, Options, and Exit, because <laughs> how default can I get? Under Start Game, simply set it to transfer the player to where your game actually starts. For loading a saved game, we'll be using a script call, which is located on page 3 of the event commands under Advanced. We'll be typing scenemanager.push bracket scene underscore load bracket semicolon. Make sure it is written exactly as shown here on the screen, as it's case sensitive, so no extra capitals or spaces or anything. This is a general MV code that does not require any plugins. It simply brings up the load screen. We'll be doing the same thing for options. Under the options choice, create a new script call. This time, scene manager dot push bracket scene underscore options bracket semicolon. Again, this is just a built-in MV code that brings up the built-in options screen. Now going one further than the default title screen, let's add in an exit command! Which will close the game and exit to Windows! Simply another script call that says close bracket bracket semicolon. Should suffice. And that's basically all you need to create your very own title screen. But perhaps you want more. Perhaps maybe you'd rather disable the load option if there aren't any save files or even have an entirely different set of startup options if a save file exists. Or heck, maybe you want to skip the title screen entirely if there's no save file. So let's quickly take a look at one of the neatest little plugins I've seen. Not because it's overly complicated or interesting, but because it's just so darn awesome. Let's look at the Hime Sync Save Data plugin. This is a plugin that allows you to mark switches and variables and have their current state saved to the save file and will be acknowledged the second you start up the game. Now this could be used in a large and epic variety of different ways, say, for skipping to boss fights if you've already viewed the cutscene, or having characters react differently if you've already interacted with them on alternate save files, but alas, for today we'll simply be using it to acknowledge a save file exists. So in our title screen event, when we teleport the player from our title map, we'll turn on a switch. To make a switch or variable acknowledged for all files, just type square bracket s square bracket at the start of its name and you're good to go. 
This way, if the player saves, it will save too. And then all we need to do is add a second page to our title screen event, with the condition set up with if that switch is on, and have our new screen, set of options, pictures, or what have you show up instead. Now this isn't a super technical set of plugins, but let's look at a few things we can do title screen wise with these plugins. Have a cutscene play out. Play a skippable movie. Have characters you met throughout your playthrough appear on the title screen when you've met them. Have the screen change based on the progress of the game. Outright have the game autosave and auto load for you. Have animations, pictures, and other cool stringy things playing. Make the entire screen out of pictures! Make it select a random title screen background to appear. And many, 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 many other possibilities. This is just a small overview of the basics of doing your own title screen in this fashion and the possibilities of being able to use something like this. So let me know down in the comments what kind of cool, epic, title screeny stuffs you have planned, and also what future tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you later, gamers!